So I want to come to you, Supriya Srinath, first. You are on the Yatra, and I want to understand from you, we've just got the break, big breaking news, Karpuri Thakur, the legendary OBC leader to get the Bharat Ratna. Now, Rahul Gandhi has been going around saying that the Prime Minister has not been fulfilling the demands and aspirations of OBCs. Guess what? The Modi government decides to give an iconic OBC figure, the Bharat Ratna. Is this, again, the Prime Minister in some way countering Rahul Gandhi's message and sending out the message that he really is the one benefiting OBCs? Actually, quite the contrary. And yes, I'm on the Yatra and speaking from my container. Quite the contrary, actually. The Prime Minister is proving Mr. Gandhi and everybody else in the India bloc who's been talking about OBC and talking about a caste census, absolutely right. The Prime Minister has been Prime Minister for 10 long years. The reality is that whether it's Mr. Gandhi or whether it's Mr. Nitish Kumar or Lalu Pusad Yadavji or several other people in the India bloc, we have been talking about the caste census and we have been consistently demanding one. We have been, even been talking about expansion of reservations. Uh, the demand for Mr. Thakur, and I'm very glad this is happening, uh, has been made from, from time immemorial. 2017, Lalu ji made it. 2022, Tejasri ji made it. 2023, Nitish ji made it and has been very consistent with it. So if, if anything, I think the BJP is rattled. The BJP realizes that there is a lot of cementing of forces that's happening. The BJP also realizes that the OBCs that they have taken for a ride are not with them. This is a political gimmick. I am very glad that the Bharat Ratna is given. He definitely deserves it. But this is a political gimmick and people will see You're calling it, it a political... No, no, one minute, ma'am. You're, call, ma ma you're calling... Ma'am, ma just a minute. Second. You're calling it a political gimmick, but the Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar has welcomed it. Does this mean, in a way, that this could deepen the fissures within the India Alliance? I'm also by... welcoming it. No. Rajdeep, you and your ilk is very trigger happy to somehow keep talking about some fictitious deepening fissures in the India bloc. The reality is that the India bloc stands together. We are united in our demand as far as the caste census is concerned. We are united in our demand as far as nyay, justice for people in this country is concerned. And even today, when Rahul Gandhi ji spoke about the five nyay, the five justices, he speaks about Bhagidari, which is exactly for the people that Karpuri Thakur represented. He speaks about Yuva, he speaks about Nari, about Kisan, and about Shamik. I just want to take a very brief point, and then, of course, you can go forward. The reality is, in 2024, when Sri Thakur is being awarded with the Bharat Ratna, Two months, barely two months ahead of general elections, the Modi government is not just rattled because the OBC is turning against them, they are rattled with the fact, and, and this is the reality, that we are exposing what they are doing on the ground. 90 secretaries in the government of India, and why are only three from the OBC community? First, get more people to represent the OBCs in positions of authority and power, and then try and be their messiah. You cannot because you did zilch for that community in the last 10 odd years that you've been prime minister. I am very glad that our pressure has worked and the prime minister is cracking under it. It's interesting. You're saying that therefore the government is responding to an agenda set by the Congress and Rahul Gandhi Akka. demanding greater Akka. empowerment and for the OBCs. That's why Karpuri Thakur just before the elections is being given the Bharat Ratna. Sanju Verma, your first response. Rahul Gandhi has been calling for greater OBC representation, political representation at all levels, including in the bureaucracy. Lo and behold, what does the Modi government do? Give a diehard socialist like Kalpuri Thakur, uh, the uh, Bharat Ratna. Is this a move in a way to counter Rahul Gandhi's OBC messaging? You know, uh, Rajdeep, uh, I absolutely endorse what uh, the Modi government has done by way of giving Bharat Ratna to Kalpuri Thakur. And for those, uh, who keeps saying BJP is rattled, BJP is rattled, BJP is dargai. You know, let me just give them a reality check, especially the Congress panelists. The uh, Modi government uh, bestowed on Mulayam Singh Yadav uh, the uh, Padma Vibhushan. Uh, it is the same Modi government uh, who uh, gave the Bharat Ratna to Bhupen Hazarika. It is the same Modi government which gave the Bharat Ratna to Pradhan Mukherjee. It is the same Modi government which in 2017 uh, bestowed uh, the Padma Vibhushan to Sharad Pavar despite ideological differences. So my limited point is this. When an award is given, the Modi government looks at the larger picture. It does not miss the woods for the trees. It does not spite the face uh, 
to simply uh, hit back at the nose, which is what the Congress's uh, failed strategy has been all about. And I want to also mention uh, on a not so lighter note, you know, they say that Baba Sahib Ambedkar, Shyama Prasad Mukherjee, Jai Prakash Narayan, Karpuri Thakur, BP Mandal, K. Kamraj, Devraj Urs, uh, you know, Arjun Singh, Rajesh Pilot, there is no one who has no Congress. We are all aware, Rajdeep, that be it the Chandrasekhar government, be it the IK Gujarat government, be it the Devagada government, you know, these all governments came crashing down because Congress was always the Achilles heel in any alliance. Now the limited point about what has the Congress done for OBCs and what has the BJP done for OBCs. I will just take 30 seconds and tell you this. Because I always believe that hard numbers don't lie. I don't come here on your debate. 30 seconds, and, you know, 30 uh, seconds. Please restrict literally. yourself to 30 seconds, ma'am. I waited for three minutes. The Congress spokesperson spoke for three minutes. Please don't lecture me. I know what to speak and how much to speak. Thank you, Rajdeep Sardesai. Now, let me tell you this. 36% of the Modi government cabinet comes from the OBC community. 37% of all BJP MLAs are OBCs. 40, 40% of all our MLCs are OBCs. Who gave constitutional status to the National Commission for Backward Classes? It is the Modi government. Who decided that 27% reservation to OBCs and 10% to uh, EWS class will be given in the MBBS and PG seats? It is the Modi government. Who raised the number of MBBS seats by 54% to 86,000 plus? The Modi government. And who... Uh, undertook a you know, caste census in 2011, it was the Congress party. I want to ask the Congress party, you spent 4,978 crores to undertake a caste census in 2010-11. You were in power till 2014 May. Aapke teen, teen the. Why did you not make the findings of the caste census public? And not only that, 10 seconds more. The Congress was in power in Karnataka from 2013 to 2018. They undertook a caste census at a cost of 556 crores in Karnataka. Why did you not uh, make public the findings of the caste census in Karnataka? Okay, you made so your Rahul point, Gandhi, producer. Uh, your Rahul time is up. Gandhi, your time is up. I gave you Rahul time. Gandhi I thought of equal time. Balloon. Please, producer, now, now Supriya Shinet respond. There are hard facts which Sanju Varma has given. And many of them are uncontrolled uh, vertebrals. The fact that the BJP has a substantial proportion of its MPs who are OBCs, the Prime Minister is an OBC. All of this gives the BJP, in a way, the high moral ground when it comes to OBC politics. Is this the wrong tact that Rahul Gandhi is taking as part of his Nyaya Yatra or part of his po politics when he says BJP has done nothing for OBCs? The Congress has discovered the OBCs only now. No, let me just go back in time. You never rake up history when you're in a weak wicket. And that's what the BJP just did. In 1990, when the BJP withdrew support from the VP Singh government, it was done because he adopted the Mandal Commission report. So let there be nobody who can mislead you this evening. The BJP withdrew support in 1990 because the Mandal Commission report for reservations was adopted by the Vishwanath Pratap Singh government. Let the BJP first explain that. And as far as our census report of 2011 is concerned, we went soon out of power in 2014. Mm -hmm. 2011 said 13 years old. Almost 13 years of which 10 you have been in power. Why have you not made that report public? What is stopping? No, no, but that question can be why asked to put on a Supriya Shinde. That me? question can no, no, one minute. That question can no, no, be asked no, no, to you, ma'am. The fact is, you were all in power. The Virappa Moy Virappa Moyli, when he was minister, had am... pushed for that caste census to be made public. The government did not. Your government in Karnataka seems reluctant to bring out a caste census. In fact, except for Nitish Kumar, no one else seems willing to bring out that caste census, whether it's the Modi government at the center or indeed when the Congress was in power. What is the reluctance? No, Rajdeep. No, Rajdeep. There is no reluctance. I have a caste census habit. And I agree, it was our fault. We should have made it public. I do not know the reasons why we did not, but it should have been made public in the last 10 years of the Modi government. How can they shy away from the fact that you were sitting on a report for the last 10 years, which has been produced by a preceding government, 
Why have you not made it public? The reality is that even in the women's reservation bill, you do not give OBC women a chance. The reality is that the entire opposition and large sections of the populace are asking for OBC caste census or for caste census in general. The Can socio-economic I? caste census that should happen. Why is that not happening? Okay. I mean, I, I will stop you. have to be asked for an incumbent government this, okay. and not me. I, I'm the no, no, you have here. an incumbent government in Karnataka which could also bring out the caste census.